We're getting a look inside of the research farms raising genetically modified pigs. And their organs are expected to be used in studies of animal to human transplants as soon as next year. Fox's Deborah Valentine takes us there. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Researchers in Virginia are growing modified pigs whose organs could be used to help bridge the large gap in human donors. Ultimately, the future would be is that you wouldn't have to go, you know, on an organ transplant list. According to the Health Resources and Services Administration, there are more than 103,000 people on the national transplant waiting list. About 17 of those people die every day while holding out for their turn. This is the culmination, you know, of decades of research. Because the human body can reject organs from other species, scientists at Revivacor have been genetically changing genes inside its pigs to make them more suitable for people. This is a 10-gene pig, so this pig has 10 genetic modifications, has four, pigs inactive, four pig genes inactivated, and has six human genes. Teams then clone pigs with the altered genes so they can have a steady supply. The embryos come here, surrogate sows come in, we do the embryo transfer surgery, and then they go back into one of these barns and gestate until clone pigs are born. Nearby, researchers at United Therapeutics are also busy at work. These animals are under tight security. Their food gets disinfected. And the water and air they consume faces tougher filtration standards than what's required for people. The company is aiming to produce roughly 125 pig organs a year for clinical trials in the near future. The FDA is now realizing there's a body of evidence that says this is going to work. Deborah Valentine, Fox News.